put it back, put it back, put it back. But it's blocking the door. Genius observation, that is, yeah. Maybe it's there for a reason, Victoria. Maybe the lock's busted. Don't be frightened. Don't be frightened. Yeah. Is it just me? Or is Daz quite a looker? Definitely a looker. Mm, I'm not sure. But we have just buried my sister's best mate, so I am going to let you take me out on a date. Ah, in the spirit of only living once, eh? Exactly. Come on, let's go. No. No, I might take you up on it, though, when you're a little less impaired. <laughs> you two are sitting together. Uh, near each other. Like you don't hate each other. We don't. No, we definitely don't. We do have regrets, though. Desperate ones. Yeah, desperate being the word if you two are about to hook up again, for sure. However, saying that, you could always don your masks and just pretend that you're not actually you. Hey, stick your nasty beak back in its beaky box. <laughs> and what's going to happen if I don't, Vanessa? I've sorted things with Priya. Wow. Hey, it must be the wake. Nothing like a little death to forget infidelity. Oi, Frank. Is that what does it for you? The sweaty brow look, the worry lines. Uh, Megan is a million lines better than you. A million lines there, you said it, yeah. The times! A million times! Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, speaking of scraping the bottom of the barrel... We're not! I leave it. She's just sad, pathetic and desperate for a rise. Don't give her the satisfaction. Girl, brilliant. You ruined my dad and Megan. And now they're starting to get it together again, but you are still... You're still trying to mess it all up. Why? Is it because no one can stand you? Because you've got no friends and no life of your own? You. You are a patholo... Pathological. Yes. A pathological, pathological. interferer. And I will let you out once... I don't think you will. Well, I will. I will let you out once you have apologised for everything. And then I'll let you out. Really? Well, you can't because the lock's broken. You only open it from the other side. So well done you. Super screw-up girl strikes again. Because Noah's deep in video game trance and uh, Victoria's used to closing, so I won't be missed. <laughs> Understatement much. Not like anyone's going to come looking for you either. Uh, my sister. Just lost her best mate, sister. Don't think you're quite on a radar right now. All right, well, my dad, then. <laughs> <laughs> no, babe, I don't think your dad's really going to be thinking about you now Megan's got him back in her clutches. No, basically, I'm stuck with you, aren't I? No, basically, I'm stuck with you. Oh, yada, yada, yada. Ugh. Ew, why don't you have a swig of this? Because the sooner you pass out, the better. Oh, always having a go. Well, I'm pathological, remember? Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, hey. I've heard it from people I care about a lot more than you. So drink, don't drink. I don't care. You and me are unfortunately stuck with each other for the foreseeable, aren't we, so? I just wanted to, you know. What? Throw caution to the wind, seize the day, live light to the fall. All that impulsive rubbish. I mean, do it by all means, but maybe you don't do it with him, because I think you could do better. You're being nice. You're never nice unless you want something. Oh, I'm sorry. 
No, I'm being just as mean as you, aren't I? And I really, really don't want to be like you. Oh, sorry. Just can't help myself. Welcome to my world. Is that what it is? You just can't help sticking the knife in? Something like that, yeah. But I've locked you in here, and you haven't yelled once. I mean, if ever you could stick the knife in. You're too easy. I like a challenge. Wait, is that your idea of fun? Winding people up? Are you really that bored and lonely? Hey! Do you know something? You are really, really good at being me. Oh. No, save it, please. This is like death by a thousand apologies, this. OK, yeah. I am so bored and lonely. I go to town on people. Because I can. In people I like. So you can like people? Not many. Some. Yeah. I especially enjoy toying with those people. Like the little boy who pulled the little girl's pigtail, wanting her to notice him. <laughs> if I want someone to notice me, They know it's me. Oh, I love returning from a night. Absolutely no help whatsoever. Oh, or um, there's some French sticking here. If you don't mind giving your jaw a workout. Beach jogging. <gasps> Are you come to join the party? No, I was after Marlon, actually, because I'd lost my door key. Well, <laughs> when I say I've lost my door key... Yeah, no, that's what I mean, I've lost my door key. I thought you were meant to be worming. And why are you wearing a cape? It's her worming cape. <laughs> she, she's being daft. No, I, um, I just called by to tell Charity that, that we've all decided to wear capes again today in, um, in memory of Finn. That's very touching. Good, OK. Right, well, um, I'll, uh, I'll see you at work then. Bye. 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 Um, how was Johnny this morning? Yeah, he was great. He had a jam fight with Leo and he still managed to look a whole lot better than you do. Hope you behaved yourself last night, young lady. What have you told her? About what? About me being at the pub. I haven't even mentioned the worming cape. In fact, I haven't mentioned anything about anything. Should I have? No. Sorry, um, apologies if I'm conclusion jumping, but was it not like a weird vibe between you and Charity? Probably. Right. Why? She's not got you into anything dodgy, has she? No. Well, please don't tell me your dirty dad's been at her again. Not him, no. Well, not you. <laughs> You in charity? Uh, oh. oh, pack it in, Paddy. It was just a fumble. Oh. End of. Oh. Shut. Right. In Paddy. I'm sorry. I recoiled in horror. You in charity? What? Drunken, ill-advised fumble. I was going to say an item, which is insane, obviously. Yeah, which I am. No. Whoa. 
Whoa! You said it yourself. Ugh! And you're right. I mean, charity. The conniving, swindling, bed-hopping woman. Well, you know the woman bit. That, that's her best quality. <sighs> we got locked in the cellar and we drank a lot. And, uh, and then we kissed, but that's all. Normal day, then. <sighs> Unless she decides otherwise. Oh, Paddy, I am such an idiot. I mean, look how she tormented my dad. Well, then she needs to know. You don't mess with the nest. Can I have a word? Four down, six letters. To awaken. Arouse? A-R-O-U-S-E. Yes, arouse. Sorry, what were you saying? Maybe in private, yeah. Sounds exciting. However, you might have told that before because I'm flying solo and, as you know, I only have one pair of hands. Frankie, baby, you want a top up? No. Right, about last night. Hey, listen, it's fine. Whiskey's on the house, yeah? No. I meant the, you know. Oh, yes. Our oh, little tongue twister. Quite the seductress, you, aren't you? No! It was a massive, monumental, ridiculous mistake and it won't be happening again. Whoa, what a cup, chill your boots. Hey, way better snug than your dad. <sighs> so you're gonna use this against me, like you did him? Well, there's nothing to use, unfortunately. You know, the best thing for a hangover cure. No. I'm gonna go upstairs and find out. Okay. Running out on me again? I've um, I've got to get to work. Mm, Shut this. See you next time then, yeah. Charity, they won't. Yeah, be. they will. Always here. Well, I could ask you the same thing, couldn't I? And I expect to know the answer. Yesterday, you were worried that she was going to tell everyone you'd kissed her. I know, and I went to talk to her. It looks like you did a lot more than talk. <sighs> She's definitely going to tell everyone now, isn't she? She might not. Of course she will. Well, you're just going to have to deal with it then, aren't you? It won't be as bad as you think, I'm sure. My dad can't find out. Nobody can. Oh, please, Paddy, can you talk to her? No. No, 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 no. I've seen where talking can get you, and I don't want to be the next one doing the walk of shame tomorrow. I'm desperate, and you're my only hope. I suppose so. Stop it. What can I get you, Paddy? I haven't come to drink, I've come to chat. Well, Marlon's busy, so I'll have to wait. Not with Marlon, with you. Can we just nip in the back? No, this isn't self-service. What do you want, Paddy? It's about what happened between you and... Vanessa. She's very upset. Upset? What's she got to be upset about? I was brilliant. She wasn't complaining, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really don't want to know any details. I, I, I just need, you know, to make sure, you know... Vanessa would prefer it if you didn't tell anybody or an anyone because nothing like this has ever happened to her before. Well, it's not that big a deal. It's just sex. With a, with a, with a, with a woman. Yeah, it's just the same. No, it's not. Well, it is to me. Well, you're not like other people. Oh. Is that an insult? No, far from it. I, I admire your attitude. You're not uptight, you don't care who you sleep with. There's definitely an insult in that. All I'm saying, all I'm saying is you need to try and see things from Vanessa's point of view. I don't need to do anything. Cos she's a stuck-up cow who gets other people to write about her friend. You know what? You ain't doing a good job, Paddy. Did you speak to her? And? I think the plan might have backfired a little bit. I don't believe this. 
How have you managed to make this worse? I don't know, because it's charity. I tried my best. Oh, Paddy, what am I supposed to do now? Try not to worry about it. Yes, I think your dad might be a bit upset, but I think he'll get used to the idea. Uh, there's nothing to get used to. It's never happening again. Hey, you all right? Only, uh, you were pretty out of it last time I saw you. I I'm fine. Look, are you busy later? Why? Thought maybe we could go for a drink. Well, are you still drunk from the other day, are you? <laughs> what do you want to, don't you? Yeah, all right then, yeah. All right, brilliant. All right. Layers. Oh, check him out! Can I have a coffee? All dressed up to come in here? I've got a date, if you must know. Uh, who with? Daz. Daz? That's right. Hey, after I knocked you back? I was drunk and he was being a gentleman. He didn't want to take advantage. Oh, he's here. Are you sure he's your type? I don't have a type. I'm pretty sure you do. Young and fit. <laughs> wow. Well, you look amazing. Thanks. Could, uh, could we go to the pub? Oh, it's all right here. No, it's just, um, well, I had a bit of history with this place. A long time ago. It's... But David doesn't really like me. Plus, your dad's giving me the evils. Oh, just ignore him. <laughs> I'd feel a lot more at home in a pub, though, if you don't mind. Right, well, if that's what you want. Yeah. I'll just, um, just finish my drink. Yeah. 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 Oh, I love a man in uniform. Huh? Well, you were in the army, weren't you? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Oh, I bet you looked fit. <laughs> bet he didn't. Yeah. Don't ask. Oh, there you go. Hey, well, this is a surprise. You want a pint? Yeah. Do you want to get a table? No, no, it's my round. Well, you can get the next one. <laughs> Don't send him away. I want to hear all about this, whatever this is. <laughs> oh, hey, you've got an audience now. Does your dad follow you around on all your dates? Uh, no, this is the first. What are you doing here? I was thirsty. Pipe, please. Dad! Well, don't worry, I won't interfere. You enjoy yourself. Look, you. Do you want to go somewhere else? No, 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 I'm fine. It, it, you are. Hey, you must be very proud. Vanessa, she's got herself a real catch. Well, at least you can get a man. Nobody will touch you. Well, you did, so... Oh, well, you walked right into that one. <sighs> Another whole round of drinks, please. Excuse me, I'm serving Vanessa. Well, I'll bring drinks over if you want to sit down. Sit down. Here, <laughs> let me... Oh, <laughs> dance with my head in. Might have to sleep in Hetty tonight. Oh, poor you. Oh, you need someone to keep you warm. Please don't do anything you're going to regret. Who, me? Paddy, have you seen the state of her? Do you think that's healthy, throwing yourself at him like that? But that's not for us to decide, is it? She has to make up her own mind, really. Well, she did. Ness, I'm really sorry, babe. This... this isn't right. Do you really think that sleeping with him is going to make you forget about last night? What happened last night? You don't have to be scared. You can be gay. It's fine. Um, she's on a date with a man. Yeah, but last night she was in bed with a woman. This woman. Was it true? Of course not. It is, isn't it? O only if it is, um, I'm not bothered. Oh, that is a typical bloke response, that is. Were you not listening? She is gay. She is not. Well, she was the other night, 100%. Very good kisser, by the way. I mean, come on, admit it! You're loving this, aren't you? Humiliating me. Oh, it's true. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be. I know what she's like. You know, she used you to get to me. <sighs> Why is this always about you, Dad? You don't think you're in love with Charity, do you? God, no. Oh, no, it was nothing like that. She was just there and up for it and... Well, I haven't slept with anyone for a really long time. Mm, sure you could have found somebody else, though. It didn't have to be her. So... You must have been attracted to her. I was. Why? So? And this isn't me trying to put a label on you, but... 
Maybe you are gay. Or bi. And whichever it is, it's fine. You don't even have to decide. I just wish I knew. See you around, Millie. Yeah, see you. That's the third time in a week I've seen her doing the walk of shame. She in or out? You tell me. Oh, I bet everyone's loving this. What, you and Daz? Oh, as if Rona. Well, don't get me wrong, I was up for it. Well, at first, anyway. Why? Just to prove a point to yourself? <sighs> don't know. Moment of madness. Anyway, nothing happened. We had a drink, chattered, and I ended up crashing out. <sighs> Look, I know you didn't sleep with him, but how different did you feel when you were with Charity, in comparison? It was, um... It was completely different. As in, good? As in... I've never felt that way before in my whole life. Oh, hey! Come in. Or should I say, come out? <laughs> Tini, oh, ignore her. Look, I've been calling you. Is everything all right? I need to be somewhere. Just face up to her. Always fight for what you want. Oh, and uh, a cola for Amelia as well. With ice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what can I get you? G and T? LGBT? <laughs> <clears throat> to save you from gossiping, and for anyone she hasn't yet announced it to, I slept with Charity. Mum's a lesbian too. Good for her. But see, I don't know if I am one. Well, not yet. Because right now, I don't know if I'm gay, straight, bi, curious. I'm just having fun finding out. So, no labels, no gossip, and no laughing. I kissed a girl once in 1964. Tasted of strawberries. <sighs> Wasn't my thing, but good for you, love. Charity, if your stirring extends to two decent G&Ts, we'll be over here. Hey, I bet I can guess all your secret superpowers. Scratching, flying. Gorping. She's gorping. What's yours, then? An acid-tipped tongue. Ooh! No, that's my weapon. My secret superpower, uh, well, that is... turning women gay. Watch out, David Tracy could be next. Uh, are you discussing my love life again? Sorry. You must think she's stalking you. Charity started it. Oh, Vanessa, please. Will you just admit it? I changed your life for the better. But, hey, I've gone and ruined it for other women, haven't I? And men, obs. Right, give that to Jack and that one to Sarah, that room. Why can't you do it? I kind of rushed off my feet. Is, uh, is Charity not helping you out? When is she ever useful? Oh, careful. Hey, where are you running off to? What business is that of yours? You know when you get stroppy, your nose twitches. It's very cute. I'll get really cute if you don't get out of my way. Um, I'm sorry about before, you know, winding up. Isn't that what you do? I do a lot of things. Free late if you want me to fill you in. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Oh, please, if it's that stupid video of a hamster riding an eagle, you do know it's been photoshopped. What? No, it's Rona. What, riding an eagle? Being ridden by a hamster? Standing me up. Vanessa! Are you two timing me? <sighs> oh, I knew she'd try and pull a fast one. Paddy's hiding. No, Paddy's through there, I think. So it's left to me to do the annual schmooze of Veronica. Oh, she's a high value client. We pay for lunch and listen to her insult us. Uh, is she a farmer? No, understood farm. What on that can't put a smile on her face? I do know what a stud farm is, I was joking. So this Veronica, is she a sour-faced, witchy-looking thing? Hmm. Sour-faced, witchy and teetotal. 
Why do you know her? No, I don't. Just guessing. Next time, I'll choose the restaurant. <laughs> it's like I got in my car in 2017 and got out in 1987. Keith Floyd in the kitchen and pound shop Kim Basinger behind the bar. Do you mind? People are nice here. <laughs> oh, bless. I wonder if they possess a coffee machine here and if anyone knows how to use it. Excuse me. If I said to you, espresso, what would spring to mind? Mm, small and bitter. Well done. Now trot off and make me one. And what are you having, babe? Hold that thought. I know exactly what you want. Uh, another one of your delicious coffees, please, Charity. Mm. A large one. Oh, was everything to your satisfaction, by the way? She loved it. <sighs> Don't pander, Vanessa. You know as well as I do, the lunch was mediocre. It was very nice. <sighs> the lunch was nice. People are nice. It's not a great quality in a person, if you ask me. Wafting through life, taking the easy option. Excuse me, you know nothing about Vanessa. Or a life. Charity door. Rona's not afraid of speaking her mind. Probably why she's not even here, because it's safer that way. Rona stood you up. Paddy stood you up. She's the only one who won't actually throttle you. I think you need to go and get the owner. I am the owner. So I'd like you to leave right now, please. Or I will pull that poker right out your backside and hit you over the head with it, yeah? Go on, trot on. You're drunk. I'll make sure Paddy Kirk hears about this. I cannot believe you just did that. Oh, my heart is racing. Yes, so is mine. Meet you down the cellar in two minutes, yeah? What? You heard. Well, sir. Who cares, Vanessa? Where's Charity? Not here. I reckon she went to change a barrel, but that was ages ago. So who's serving? What the hell has got into Veronica? She's steaming. She's not drawn breath for the last five minutes. Paddy! No, no. I am sure she never intended to... No, of course not, Veronica. We are all very, very fond of you. Well, are you sure you couldn't have misunderstood... Hello? Hello? I'd like to know what has come over Vanessa, because she is normally very good at controlling her tongue. Paddy, what's wrong? I think I've just seen something that I shouldn't have. Rona there for you, well. Um, something to remember. Maybe, when it's late and you're lonely. I am so sorry. Are we doing refills? <laughs> She's trouble. Maybe that's what I like about her. She's fun. It's fun. She makes me laugh. I'm happier when she comes into the room, you know? My heart, it, it beats a bit faster. Listen, um, I really hope I've not lost your business, you know, with Veronica. Oh, oh, don't worry. We'll send Paddy to go and make nice. Maybe you'll have to muck out her horses in a French maid's outfit while she takes photos. I hope so. Look, uh, Charity, I... I don't want any misunderstandings. I mean, this was fun, but... Well, it's not like we're suddenly a couple. Don't fly yourself. A couple of weeks, I'll be bored here. <laughs> Go on, then. What are you offering up for the skills auction? Mm-hmm. What delights you going to tempt us with, Vanessa? You'll have to tell us eventually. We have ways and means. Mm-hmm. Knitting. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> I did not see that one coming. Yes, I am going to teach people basic knitting skills. Got a problem with that? How old are you? 70? I have never seen you knit. I know, well, I do it in private, so you two idiots don't take the mick. <laughs> Sorry. No, knitting's good. My grand used to do it. <laughs> in the 1920s. <laughs> and then there's Pearl. I mean, I think she's into it. Pearl's the one who taught me, actually. She's got the patience of a saint. Knit one Pearl one. Oh! Actually, to be fair, it's supposed to be bang on trend right now. How many hidden talents can one girl have, eh? I hope you brought your piggy bank. With my knitting skills, there's bound to be a bidding war. Well, I'm not really a woolly jumper kind of girl, babe. 
Well, in that case, I'll have to think of some other service to offer you. Ness, can you put your girlfriend down? Come and help us get ready, please. Thanks. I have a bid of £80. Is anybody prepared to go any higher? Anyone? OK, all done at £80 then. Going once, going twice. Sorry. Sold to Rishi. Yes. Oh, unblock my drains any day of the week. 85. 90. I thought you were going to snap me up. Hope you and Rishi will be very happy together. I'd rather be happy with you. What, that girlfriend and girlfriend? What? Well, that's what Rona seems to think we are. Well, she's wrong. Me and you were just... What? Two single women who like each other? Exactly. Right. Then where's the problem? Hey! Daz, how you doing? Guess you'll be wanting me to, um... Fill your glass, top you up, only I'm the woman who can sort you out. If you mean do I want a pint? Yes, please. Coming up. What are you doing? You're acting all maniac -y. Is Vanessa watching? Yes, she is, and so is half the pub. Not surprisingly. Mm. I think it's a bit pathetic what she's doing, all puppy dog and stuff. She's been watching me all afternoon, yeah, like some crazy hot stalker. Yeah. Let's drop it. Still, shame to waste your effort sitting round here. Maybe we should go into town. Excuse me, who's wasting anything? There are plenty of decent people around here too, you know. I'm sorry, are you... Is she actually trying to flirt with me? Probably, yeah. She's been slavering over everyone else. Pathetic, isn't it? <sighs> Sounding a little bit insecure there, V. Yeah? Well, back out your charity. You know, for someone who insisted that we were no strings, you've practically busted gut trying to get a rise out of me. Pete only went and fell asleep. Oh! <laughs> That's not funny. Well, it could have been worse. He could have fallen asleep on Rona. I was exhausted. And you said you wouldn't say anything to anyone. Well, it's them pillows, isn't it? She brings it on herself. <laughs> Bet no-one's fallen asleep on you, have they? Tiny blonde rocket woman. So what can I get you? Apart from a quickie round the back, I've got a break in ten minutes, babe. On second thoughts, hang fire, babe. I may need to exercise my heterocide just for five minutes. And I thought you'd never ask. Oh, no, babe, look behind you. Oh. Anyway, I was here for my knitting date, Vanessa. <laughs> it's the funniest thing anyone's ever said. We brought you wool. Yeah. Can I make a sweater? Well, why don't we just start with a scarf? Yeah, yeah. I mean, she's all wild and adventurous, this one. Be careful. Look, I've got quickly put back to work, but... I'll just get you started. OK, let's get knitting. <laughs> they hope he finds you more entertaining than I do. Hey, you, uh, you might want to look at these. Right. Through. Off. This is what we call mindfulness. Can I have it back, please? Oh, so boring. I'm doing ever so well. How long will a scarf take? Forever. So you may have to lower your sights like I've done with her. Don't you have a man to trap somewhere? Keep going, Rishi. Very, very good. I'm working towards an Aaron jumper. Oh, I only teach Yorkshire knitting. So are you like a proper lesbian now? Nobody gets hung up on labels these days. And that means yes. <laughs> Who exactly are you doing this for? No one. Not what? Not even yourself? Well, yeah, obviously me. Anything you can do, I can do. Yeah, I am sick and tired of your games. Now, except for getting me my drinks, please leave me alone.
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is going to be amazing for your dating profile. There's got to be someone out there looking for a blundering blonde who can cheer up the gerbil. <laughs> yeah. Someone who doesn't have the emotional intelligence of an amoeba. Actually, if you must know, I cried myself to sleep last night. No, wait, that was because I was watching Titanic. You know, she foregoes a, a lifeboat for him. Yep. Yeah. Now in my new top ten reasons for staying single. So there's no obligation to freeze to death should a massive iceberg hit. Here we go again. Ain't no one gonna cramp my style. Bye, Charity. Come on, don't pretend you don't love it. Yeah, Pete's mucky wellies could ruin my carpet any day. Right. Well, I bet he can't spot megabacteriosis in a budgie, though, can he? Oh, let's face it, Paddy. Even the most miraculous kitten resuscitation will never replace the woman's need for a solid pair of manly hands. Oh, it smells strawberry. No, babe, it's good. It gives you kind of exotic, adventurous air, which, let's face it, is a first for you. It's not going to work. I am not going to rise to your... Amazing times. Look, let's get this straight. You are dull. I said it. We might have had a few wild nights in the sack, but right now, Charity, you are boring me. Comprende? Eh? No one's perfect. Shut up, Charles. Hey! Glorious day, isn't it? Kind of uh, frosty, crispy, wintry morning. I was thinking maybe me and you could go for a cheeky coffee, babe. Oh, come on, Vanessa, I'm trying to be nice here. I'd rather poo a porcupine. <gasps> babe! You shouldn't have. <gasps> she didn't. <laughs> Although, there are a few things in there for your benefit. Uh, Tracy? Oh, I will look forward to that. <laughs> Fine. Thanks. Oh, just a tonic water for me, please. I am still trying to shift this hangover. A bit frosty tonight. Nip in the air. Lovely smell of wood smoke. Part of the wood burner. What do you want? Look, this isn't easy for me, all right? I'm not used to all this indifference. I'm used to pressing buttons and people jumping the way I want them to. I don't have the time for all that. I'm a grown-up. I've got a grown-up job and a small person to look after. Well, I have two, actually. I've got two small people and a big person. OK, look, I know this sounds weird, yeah, but um, I do actually care about you a bit. Quite a bit. And, you know, that's not something that you're going to hear every day or at all from me. You care about me so much that you play games to prove we're nothing. I just thought you and me were having a bit of fun. Yeah, well, maybe we are. And maybe that's all I can offer you right now. <sighs> you know, and if that's not enough... Fine, I get that. But if it's a Mrs and Mrs White wedding you are after, I am so not your woman. <sighs> Even if it was, who said you would be? Really? I like you, Charity. I like you a lot. But that's as far as it goes. Can't make any promises, OK? I can't. Even promise that I won't hurt you in the end. Well, you think I can? <laughs> but up until that point, I will rock your world if you let me. We go to the pub tomorrow. But for tonight, there's nobody in at mine. Did you have a nice time, then? Yeah, yeah, it's all right, if you like Lanzarote. So shall I come round tonight, then, to pick up where we left off? We left off with you leaving and not saying goodbye. I had to go away for the kids. You have a problem with that? 
No. Just think a postcard might have been nice, that's all. All right, well, I'll see you in a bit then. Oi! Get your coat, you've pulled. Spoken for, sorry. Painted the town rainbow with them. Robert's getting his mojo back. Um, I'm just checking, we are still casual. You still don't want tying down, right? Yeah, pretty much. Great. Might get my mojo back too, then. Uh, put her down. Hurry up, you. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Hashtag squad goals. Hashtag living my best life. Hashtag what happens in the club stays in the club. Oh, where's she gone? School disco. Oh, gay bar. Oh. Let's get off my nose. Mm. Hashtag whatever you say. She's made a new friend and she's not back. talking about. Shut up, let me see. Vanessa's definitely worse wear, though, because I can't even understand the hashtags this time. Babe, seeing as you're quiet and Moses is with Sammy, I might just... just stay for a whole shift for once. Babe, please. Serves you right for playing it so cool. Their microbrewery. Oh, I am back in the building. Will you relax? Babe, you need to get out more. Come on, age is but a number, even if it's a big one. <laughs> Shots, please. On the house. Fatty animals, as old folks turn it in. Well, you've changed your tune. Yeah, well, the thought of you minding this place for a month can do that. A month? <laughs> you're a maker. <laughs> Come on, babe. Right, I might follow their lead. We'll stop here if you want. I mean, Rona's got Johnny, hasn't she? And you're OK. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <sighs> Thought you were cool with the lack of strings. Thought you were. I am. Well, why come running, then? Because you invited me, you drunkard. Anyway, what if I said I wouldn't mind the odd string? What if I said them texts and pictures made me feel a bit sick and panicky and... <sighs> ..uncharacteristically jealous? I'd say, what have you done with my girlfriend? Girlfriend? Oh, go on, head for the hills. I'm going nowhere. Neither are you. Come here. Hey! Oh! Oh, look at that. Little fella carted, has he? He's not dead charity. He's still under from his op. Oh, right. Having said that, what a great idea that'd be. Have you thought about branching into taxidermy? Stuff the ones that die. <laughs> uh, no, weirdly. Be glad you can't hear her, Augustus. Augustus? Never Brian or Alan, is it? But was there actually something? Oh, yeah, there was, actually. <laughs> Just wondered if you fancied coming over later when you've dealt with the rat. He's a chinchilla. Who cares? You and me spending some consensual adult time together? That I do care. Uh, give us a minute to um, to do his ops. I'll uh, get him settled and I'll be right over. Bedtime for everyone, then, eh? See ya. <sighs> hey. What's in the back? 
Are we playing vets and hamsters? <laughs> Didn't think that one through, did I? We're not playing at anything. Rona's twisted my arm into taking her call out. Mr Kilby's got some frisky heifer he wants looking at, has he? What about this frisky heifer? What she needs looking at in a less invasive, non-medical way? Mm, I've promised now, I'm sorry. Unless we nip in the back for five. Not in a critical way, this horny cow, is it? Oh, I can't. I'm late already. Really, really, really. Is that your final, final answer, is it? Come on, I want to know what's in your little magic bag. Got some kind of heavy-duty restraints. You know, just to pick something at random. Oh, I have got all sorts in here. Mm. I have got flea treatments. Yeah. I have got tranquilizers. I have got constipation medicine. Ooh. I've got plastic gloves for if the constipation medicine doesn't Okay, babe. So that's pretty much more disgusting than dirty, so... I'd just like to see the vet now, please. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna need you to lie down. Yeah, sure. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> What was that noise? What noise? Who's them bags and coats? Run. <laughs> oh, make it quick. I've got plans to curl up and die. What, no heifer? Apparently she's perkier. Well, that was the problem. The over-perkiness. Come on, babe, I don't know why you're mad at me. You're the one who dropped me like a mucky stick and came running here. Uh, maybe because I lose my brain every time I'm within five metres of you. I chose a bunk up with you over my jaw. All right! Look, I'm really sorry. Really? Yes. For being unfairly sexy and irresistible. I'm bossy. Mm hmm You like the bossy bit? I have messed up. I mean, really messed up. What with work? What have you done? Have you got a pig over excited? I'm losing it. I'm proper losing it. A vial of ketamine has gone missing from my bag. Oh. No, no, obviously, I'm not saying you've took it. Oh, really? Because that's what it seems like to me. No, I'm sorry. I have a girlfriend. You actually think I'd be capable of that? <sighs> oh, don't get upset. I'll get over it. No, I'm not upset over you. I'm upset because I've lost the tranquilizers, and because of that, I could lose something else. My job. Well, you need to stop panicking, all right? Because it will turn up. How? Where? When? I've already looked everywhere I can think of. <sighs> so, Belle's just phoned. Lisa's out of surgery. I reckon she's going to be all right. Thank God. Well, she's tough as old boots, Lisa, isn't she? Have they got any idea what caused it? Well, yeah, this is the weird thing. They found ketamine in her system. They reckon she's been spiked. Finally. Excuse me, it's my morning off. And I had a cattle CPD day booked, but all those rotting tongues and rancid hooves. Ooh, don't you just love it when she talks dirty? <laughs> I just couldn't summon up the interest. Liv, either you call her or I will. Oh, it's the RCVS. What's that, babe? Royal College of Very Scary Bosses. They want me to contact them immediately. Hey. An investigator's still coming on Thursday, but now I've got a disciplinary hearing in London the next day. Well, wait, maybe they're just covering their backs, you know, ticking boxes. Not they said for me to take my solicitor. So I'd better look one up in veterinary malpractice. You're getting that surgery and you scour it, okay? so the inspector can eat his dinner off the operating table. Oh, and here, why don't you take this? This is Lydia's miracle polish. She'd kill me for lending it here, but you know what? The smell of it sends our brewery up wild. Charity Dingle recommending cleaning products. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, but you know, first impressions count. Basically, the secret to my entire success. You'll be awesome, go. Mm -hmm. Uh, just give them lots of space, yeah. Should we get you a drink? Yeah. He'll go ballistic when he finds out. Poor Tracy. With Layla, I mean, that is such a shock. I know. It makes you wonder if any relationship's worth it. I mean, if they can't work it out, who can? Right, lady. 
I am sick to death of you avoiding my calls. You're holding out on me about something, aren't you? Look, if this is about me... Oh, you are so self-obsessed. Why is everything about you? So you're going to tell me? Bet you've told this one everything, haven't you? Um, since when did you become the needy girlfriend? Do you know what, Vanessa? Let's forget it. Yes, let's. Cos none of this is worth it. Here's to you, Debs. I well and truly take my hat off to you. Oh, it's only a house. No, actually, it's way more than that, and you know it. Thought he could break you, didn't he? Well, turns out you broke him instead. So, way to go, kid. And while we're at it, here's to steering clear of relationships. I thought you were happy with Vanessa. Oh, I can't be doing with her moods. Oh, well, I like her, and so do you. Yeah, well, all good things and all that. Oh, come on, Mum, you're good together. Hey, I saw you coming in. Really good for you. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry for snapping at you like that. Call me a moody cow. Tracy and David breaking up, it got to me, and I took it out on you, I'm sorry. Oh, right, so we're not splitting up, then? No. It was just one little row. Why do you want to? Not particularly, no. Oh, you guys. Go on. Get a glass. Join in. <sighs> Moody cow. Look at the bottom on that. What are you doing? More to the point, what are you doing? You did all this yesterday, babe. But not the floors, and I didn't tidy and the inspection's tomorrow, so... That's well, about drugs going missing. It's about whatever they want to make it about. Look, the better things look, the better it'll go, is my theory. Although I do have another theory, and I should be spending this time getting my answers straight. So where's Pearl? Oh, she's off poorly. So Pearl Rank, get her in doing this. Well, that's a great idea, except she's an old lady and I'm not a monster. <sighs> Give me a cloth or something. You want to help? Want? No. Mm. Well, the day after would be good if you can manage it. That way we can give you our full attention. That's great. OK, see you then. Funny, isn't it? How suddenly you had a load of phone calls to deal with once Muggins here got cracking. Well, what can I do? Give me your full attention. That's what. I will look when we're finished. We are finished. Oh, this is a mess. Well, now it isn't. Oh, on. Well. The, the door locked. It's fine. Get on the table. Come here. Mm -hmm. mm. What? Again? <laughs> cool. Might have lied about the door. Hi. What's she doing here? I'll tell you what she's doing here. She's here witnessing scenes of... of... Lesbianism. Yes, yes, that. She's also here working for free to make up for being a drug thief. Now, can you go in the back room and clean up, please? Uh, clean up what? Whatever's dirty. we better start with this one, eh? <gasps> Get that and uh, three more, please. Oh, not for me, thanks. I'm jittery enough. OK, well, I'll bring it over. Look, stop panicking. It's going to go fine today. And... Whatever happens, you've always got us. Oh, yeah, and charity, I imagine. Well, yeah, it's harder like I need my hand holding. Well, that's a good job, cos I've just spent the last hour up to my armpits in Lancedale. Mm. Oh, you smell rank! Coming from the woman who carries sheet droppings in her pocket. Maybe not for much longer, eh? Oh, well, here goes. Like I'm dead, sis. Maybe it's a last resort. Oi, you'll walk it, kid. Go on. Like throwing away six years of training. Well, you're bright. You're resourceful. You, you could turn your hand to anything. No, I'm a vet. I make animals better. That's what I do. What about a bit of conservation work abroad? Broaden your experiences? Ship the embarrassment off to another country, you mean? Sorry, but I've got my son to think about. Well, it doesn't mean there isn't a silver lining. Charity's right. All we have to do is find it. Well, then I'll tell you what. Why don't I leave you lot to organise my miserable little life while I go pack for London? That I get quietly plastered. Teeny! Might as well face it. My career is kaput. And don't you give me that look either. After tomorrow, doesn't matter how sick you might feel, I won't be able to help you. And do you know why? Let me guess. You're a snake charmer. Well, go on, get out your funny hat, shove them in a basket, cos this I've got to see. 
Oh, that's right. Laugh at me. That's all I'm fit for. Oh, wow. Well, you weren't wrong about getting hammered. Hey, good job I didn't don my uh, fake moustache. A proper comedian, aren't we? Come on, then. Keep them coming. Well, how about you lighting up? I was just worried about you, all right? Well, guess what? I'm fine. What, chatting to a snake? How's that working out for you? Might as well now I'm practically struck off. <laughs> well, what have I got to lose? No job. Hardly any savings. You? Excuse me? Look, I know you. You want a good time, not some unemployed has-been with no prospects. Oh, get the violins out. Just do yourself a favour. Abandon shit before I bring you down as well. Well, maybe you're wrong. OK, yeah, I'll admit, I like a giggle. But trust me, babe, you talking to a snake, that more than ticks the box. And I'm not going anywhere. So how about I help you pack? Because, babe, you've got a train to catch, remember? How could I forget? Well, I could always help you take your mind off it for a bit. Close your eyes. Not a charity. Please, just close your eyes. Now, if that doesn't float Martin's boat, nothing will. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's more like it. Hey, I'm just looking for Vanessa. She's not back yet. Oh, is that good or bad? I don't know. It's not guaranteed the panel are going to accept Martin's recommendation. No, not since you insulted his wife. I know. I need to learn to keep my trap shut. Yes, you do, and I need to know what's going on. Can you not ring him to see what they've decided? I can't. I've got a call out. It's an alpaca emergency. Some fungal disease, but you can tag along if you want. Oh, no, you're all right. Yeah, but we've not got the right bedside manner. Excuse me, my bedside manner is legendary, thank you. <laughs> Babe, I've been trying to ring you all morning. How did it go? I've been suspended for 12 months. What? Gross negligence. Apparently, I'm lucky I haven't been struck off. Maybe you could appeal. Nah, the decision's final. It's been posted on their website. Vanessa Woodfield, persona non grata. Why can't they see it was just an innocent mistake? I'll try telling Lisa that. What am I going to do in our job? I can sack Rebecca. Can have some shifts behind here. You've only just taken Rebecca on. Yeah, but the state of mind she's in, I could tell her she imagined it. That's a bit callous. Look, it's irrelevant anyway. I'm not a barmaid. Unfair. What, more unfair than making me play these ridiculous party games with ridiculous people I've seen naked? <laughs> I know, that's how I reacted too. Not a pretty sight. Stop it, Charity. Well, you can always concede. I concede. No, she doesn't. Pick another name. His birthday, his rules. Fine. Well, someone pretentious, I'm guessing. Is that a question? No, what's the point? She'll never get it. Have you ever read a book? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've put my time to better use, wouldn't you say, Frank? Charity. Here's a hint. <clears throat> she wrote The Secret Garden. Any idea? Right then, that's you out. Francis Hodgson Burnett. Pow! <laughs> Suck it, losers! Trace, you're ditching me on my birthday. Oh, we're out of wine. <clears throat> I'll be back in two minutes. Hey, how did you know? I mean, not that you couldn't. Oh, please stop digging yourself deeper. Secret Garden was. It just helped me. Out of a rough patch when I was a kid, that's all. Well, it took the wind out of their sails. I'm sure there's plenty of hot air in reserve. But I'm going to go for a week and then can we just get this over with, please? Oi! Stop that, you little terror, will you? But you're just a little kid. Why would you do that? Why would you, you evil cow? You're ruining me dad's life with your sick lies. Now I'm going to ruin yours. No, I didn't do anything. It was your dad. Liar! No, your dad! He admitted it, the blackmail! Oh, look at you trapped him. No, he pleaded guilty. He did it. 
And it wasn't just me, was it? Why would I lie? Even if he did, you just a monkey tart. You deserved it. <gasps> now Mum's kicked him out and you're trying to put him away for years. He's my dad. I can wait to suffer just because you're a cheap prosy. Oi! You better shut your mouth, you stupid little girl. Give me that. Your dad is a sleazy bully who did some horrible things to her when she was practically the same age as you! Do you think she wanted that? Do you think she deserved to be touched up like that, creep? Charity, stop it, she's a kid! So you! No, oh, I wasn't. Well, she's old enough to know better! OK, fine. It's not your fault your dad was a nasty man, but this is all you, isn't it? This is down to you. So go on, you better do one now. Go on, go! Charity, are you OK? She just doesn't get it, does she? Yes, she does. I'm the woman who's destroyed a family. No! Her dad was the one that destroyed that family, not you. And don't you dare ever think otherwise, all right? Miss Banksy. Don't even think about it. I wasn't. I thought I told you to get lost. You don't get it. My dad's a good person. He doesn't deserve this. She has to stop the charges. But it's not happening, so do one. You don't know him. I don't have to. I know his type inside out. He explained. He paid her. Nobody forced us to do anything. No, but he filmed it. Without her knowing and used it as blackmail. You're lying! No, he's lying! He's lied to you your whole life because that is who he is. He's a disgusting, sick, perv of a man who takes what he wants, throws a few quid at the damage and moves on. And finally, it's catching up with him. And I'm telling you this, he deserves every slow, miserable year behind bars he's got coming. Tell your mum to let him rot. Oh, You've just missed Vanessa. She's gone to drop Johnny at the Charminers. Well, I came to see you, actually. There'll be a drink behind the bar waiting for you when you're done. Thank you. Pretty sure I'll need one. Well, he got four years for blackmail and harassment on two counts. The other girl was there as well. She was amazing. We're going to keep in touch. And the judge gave him a right telling off. That is great. Good for you, babe. Got the bubbly on ice, as promised. Oh, do you know what? I think I'm just going to head home. I'm sorry, what? She's turning down free booze. Houston, we have a problem. <sighs> I'm OK. It's a good thing. I wanted him put away, but... It just stings a bit, doesn't it, having it all dragged up again? <sighs> you can say that again. Where's your dad and Ness? Our dad had to rush off to take Eliza to an appointment, and um, we're going to just grab Vanessa about some better things, so... I'll be fine. Wait there, please. Marlon, you're up. Come on, let's get you home. And it wasn't just the blackmail, was it? It was the way he made me feel about what I did. Hey, don't give him what he wanted. Don't you dare. Jacob. Ugh. Put the tally on, you've made the news. Who attempted to blackmail two women has been jailed for four years today. The conviction came as a result of a new initiative by Hotton Police to support vulnerable witnesses and crack down on this type of crime. Detective Inspector Mark Bales had this to say. Unfortunately, in recent years, we've noticed an increase in these uh, cases. Offenders trying to restore money by obtaining images online or otherwise that the victim would prefer to keep private. Uh, I hope the success of this investigation sends a message that we take these offences seriously that we will prosecute and we'll do our utmost to protect anyone who comes forward to report these crimes. Thank you. <sighs> wow. That really makes it all seem worth it when he puts it like that. That's who handled the case then? D.I. Bales? Yeah. He's been brilliant. 